How are you not dead yet? Seriously. All 50 of you guys are still alive? How are you not dead right now? Kind of a friendly little bugger. All right guys, Papa Pepper here at the Abundant Harvest Homestead once again. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about perseverance and the will to live. And it's not because I'm facing some incredibly life-threatening disease or anything like that, but I'm actually talking about just in the plant world. I never really was too concerned about plants for the most part until I lived in New Orleans. And you'd see some crazy things like these just a beautiful plant, you know, maybe a couple inches tall, and you'd walk around the corner and there'd be one, you know, 20 feet tall or something. Be like, wow, that's crazy. And a lot of plants down there, people would just kind of chop back with a machete and then throw on the curb. And then they would regrow from what they left, you know, what they didn't chop back. But if you picked up some of those pieces, you could stick them in the dirt soil at your place, and uh, all of a sudden they'd be growing there. And I'm like, wow, it's just very peculiar. So I'm not sure how many of you guys have ever, like, thought about things like had a really good idea and you're like oh this would be awesome to pull off this would be so great and and if you've never you know had one of those thoughts just keep thinking but if you've ever been there and you've thought of these great ideas and these great things and all of a sudden you realize like it's just too much I can't do it I'm not gonna get to it the cool thing is sometimes that plants will give you a second chance so check this out first of all I'm gonna show you guys a number of things that have impressed me this year and uh, these plants are really cutting me a little slack, which I really appreciate, but look at this once. This here is a five gallon bucket. It's not entirely unlike other five gallon buckets, except for the fact maybe it's black. But if you notice, there's eh, about six live little seedlings in there. One, oh, I thought it was maybe dead, but it's not. It's got a little bit of green right there by my finger. So that's seven. These are pawpaws. In my garden here, I'm growing pawpaws, okay? They like to be in shade for a couple of years, so I'm letting grow up here in the under canopy. And then eventually they'll be able to, uh, to be higher up. But I never planted these last year. So these trees I actually picked up last year, back in 2018, and I never made it into the ground. But I put them in a bucket of water, which is now being used for a mosquito breeding ground. I'll have to uh, dump that out because I can hear the mosquitoes around me as well. Not cool. But I never got these plants in the soil last year. They just sat out here all winter in a bucket of water. And yet they've given me another opportunity. Um, they've got such perseverance. It's amazing. And you can see these are little leaves compared to those ones over there that are like the size of my hand almost if I move them at the same distance. They're doing better in the ground, the ones I did plant. But these ones that I didn't plant did not die. They're giving me another opportunity and I totally appreciate that. And over here, you can see some dead sticks. Wow, that thing just shattered. Sticking out of the ground. It was where I planted American Beautyberry. I thought it died, but if you look, no, it's coming back from the bottom, from the roots, you know. I thought it was dead. I thought it was a goner. Yet, because that root was in the ground, it persevered. It's here once again, and this year it can grow better, get established, and then we won't have to worry about that. Very cool. So excited about that. I just, I love it when plants do this. And then the same thing over here as well. Um, a neighbor of mine was pruning his fig trees late in the year, last year. That's what this is. It was a lot taller. So I stuck two, uh, two of them down here in the dirt. Just shoved them down in the dirt. I didn't think anything happened. So this year I came and I saw that it was pretty dead, broke it off, said all right, and I pulled it up. But then when I looked underneath the ground, it was actually still alive. So now you can see it's sprouting over here, it's sprouting over here. I've got a brown turkey fig that I didn't count on. You know, somebody had just chopped the branches down. They were done with them. I was able to stab it in the dirt. I didn't think anything happened, but as you can see, it lived. Like I said, they got just such perseverance, such a will to live. Very cool. They give me an opportunity when I don't really otherwise have one. 
And over here last year, I got some seeds from a guy, uh, EM3 on Steam It, the uh, Healthy Family Variety channel on YouTube. And on this archway here, I tried growing some uh, loofah gourds. Now I only really got one to produce, and uh, I never really made it to full maturity. I made it really late in the year. But when I kind of squished this guy up a little bit, there are actually were some seeds in here. They look like they were actually viable. So I'm gonna open that up. Yeah, there we go. And I should actually have loofah gourd seeds I can plant this year. You know, it was late in the year, but I gave it a try. I put it in the soil. I tried to plant it just to see what would happen. And sure enough, you know, I got something out of it. It may not be the best loofah, but looks like they did make mature viable seeds. So I am very excited about that because once again, I'm not doing so good, but the plants, the plants make up for it. And this one is even worse than the last one. Those pawpaws stayed in the uh, bucket of water through the winter. These persimmons have for two winters now, okay? I had picked up in 2017 some pawpaw trees. You can see the water's not even that nice. Again, I gotta clean this up too because there's mosquitoes. But I've got 50 persimmons here that spent the end of 2017, all of 2018, and now the beginning of 2019 here in this bucket. And, and the reason for this is, you know, there's a persimmon tree, 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 there's a persimmon tree. They're growing wild all around here like crazy anyway, so I didn't really have the necessity to plant them. But just the fact that you could leave a seedling in a bucket of water through two winters and have it still be alive is, is insane to me. When I talk about just, you know, a plant's resilience and perseverance and will to live, I mean, this is, if this isn't proof of it, I don't know what is. Um, that's insane. So hopefully I will find a good place for them to live. But until then, they're staying alive, which is crazy to me. And this here may be my final example. This is actually a chaste tree. Vitex. Um, I tried to start a couple from seed, got this guy to go. It died back, you know, a little bit. It was barely a... It looked worse than this when I planted it a year ago. Or last fall. But it did make it through the winter. I thought it was dead. I thought it was dead all winter. Until I saw it wake up this spring and I thought, wow, it's actually alive. You know, it didn't give up. It didn't give up. So if you check out those examples, I'm sure you can understand why I am super impressed with, with just plants in general. Why I really like it and like I said, even when I'm lacking, when I'm trying to tackle too much, a lot of them give me a second chance. They give me another opportunity. I mean, besides just all the volunteers that come up on their own in my garden, I mean, I'm looking at volunteer birdhouse gourds here, potatoes there, all sorts of things that just spring back on their own. The things that I try to do and don't quite get to can sometimes just stay alive. They can actually thrive in some situations. They can buy me that time to actually be able to do it right. So I'm learning. You know, there was a time I bought a thousand trees and I planted a thousand trees in five gallon buckets. I'm looking at some right now, some service berries. They're still alive from, that might have been 2016, maybe 2017, but wow. I mean, they've lived for a couple years in five gallon buckets either way. And they're still giving me the chance to, to get it right, to get her done, to get them planted. And, and I appreciate that because, um, I want them. There's a reason I got them, but I'm learning to kind of take things more in bite-sized portions. You know, don't order a thousand trees at once. A thousand trees, especially planting in rock and clay, is a lot more effort than you may think. At least it was than I thought originally, so hopefully this is encouraging for you guys. You know, think about that. Just, just give it a go. Learn from your mistakes. Try hard, and sometimes even when you fail or you don't accomplish things within a decent amount of time, you'll still get another opportunity just because a lot of these plants, you know, I know they live a different life than we do, but they apparently do have this will to live. They do have this power to just stay alive. And I really have come to appreciate that over the years. All right, Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.